Hey guys, it's Sam from the Process Specialist team in Birmingham with a quick tip for you. A common question we get asked is what is the difference between creating a new work coordinate system and defining a tool orientation for a positional axis move? Let's start by taking a look at the settings in a work coordinate system. The work coordinate system is set inside of Fusion 360 and must match the position of your G54 on the machine. From here, all of your toolpath coordinates are measured from the G54 work plane. So if we were to change our work coordinate system to do a multi-axis positional move, we would have to reprobe G54 and create a new work coordinate system so that we are in the correct orientation every time we wanted to machine angled faces or features. This can lead to longer setup times or worse, errors as you may probe or rotate your component inaccurately which can lead to mismatches of where you would like your angled feature to be machined. However, using tool orientation allows us to do this without having to manually reposition and reprobe. Before we take a look at using tool orientation, please bear in mind that this only works if your machine has 5 axis capabilities or has a trunnion. So let's take a look at this in further detail. I have set my work coordinate system so that it matches my G54 on the machine. I can then create the toolpath I would like to use, simply tick the box to change the tool's orientation. From here I can then select the geometry of the model to orientate my tool, so that we are now in a 3 plus 2 axis orientation, with my tool facing towards the selected feature. The great part about this is that we do not have to move the part ourselves, this functionality simply works the transitional movements out itself leaving you with more time to program and less time moving your part around manually. Hopefully this tip helps you and remember to give this video a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful and be sure to subscribe for more quick tips. Until next time.